Costello, stop all that noise. Well, good evening, Your Honor. What do you mean? How are you, Your Honor? All right. How are you feeling, Your Honor? What's the matter? Greetings, Your Honor. Costello, please don't call me Your Honor around here. Ah, but don't be so modest. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to know that my old pal, Bud Abbott, has just been elected mayor of Sherman Oaks, California. So help me, this is no gag, it's on the level. And I say... <laughs> and that, that's the truth. And I say, let's give his hollow... A hurrah. Uh, let's give his honor a great big hand. Speech, Abbott, speech. Come on, give the speech. All right. <clears throat> that's uh, a little too short, Abbott. Uh, <laughs> Make another one that we'll understand. Make I, another speech. I didn't start yet, Costello. Come on, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, make a speech. Uh, okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That's all. Uh, uh, <laughs> now, just a minute, you Costello. Notice the way he talks now, just ladies and gentlemen. Now, just a so minute. So fluent, please. Now, listen low, please. I'm very Lights proud. in my eyes. I, uh, never mind. I am very proud to be mayor of Sherman Oaks. It's a beautiful little town. Yes, I'll say it is. I just drove through it on the way down here, Abbott. You did? What's that little green building right next to the pool room? Oh, that's the city hall. Well, you better get out there right away. The rats are dragging it down the sewer. <laughs> now, Stella, are you insinuating that Sherman Oaks is a small town? Brother, that town is so small, the motorcycle cop goes around on roller skates. Oh. Boy, is it a lonely place. Lonely? You heard me, Abbott. It's so lonely out there, the mosquitoes go around stinging each other. No, oh, no. But I like the way it's laid out. What do you mean? It's a graveyard with life. Ah. <laughs> All right, Costello, go ahead and laugh, but wait until next week. I'm moving into the mayor's residence. The mayor's residence. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lovely house. Two rooms and a path. Oh, no. <laughs> Not bad, path. All right. You wait until you see it next week. I'm going to have the most beautiful house in Sherman Oaks. I'm putting a wing on it. Why don't you put two wings on it and fly it over to Glendale? Oh, Costello, there's no sense discussing politics with you. You're too ignorant. Ignorant? I'll have you know that in my class of school, I was a moron. A moron? Is that good? In my class, it's excellent. Oh. <laughs> oh, never mind politics. We have something more important to think about. We're starting our new picture at MGM next week, and we've got to find a new leading lady. Abbott, you're right. The last leading lady we had, boy, was she murdered. Why? What was wrong with her? Every time I kissed her, she sounded like she was gargling. And what was she doing? Gargling? Well, <laughs> well, you have nothing to worry about this time. Metro says we can cast the whole picture ourselves. Oh, good, good. Well, good evening, boys. Oh, it's Ken Miles. Well, Say, Ken, Costello and I are getting ready to cast our next picture, and we are looking for a leading lady. Well, of course, my beautiful wife would be wonderful for the part. Look, Niles, we're not making a horror picture. <laughs> now, look here, Costello. I'll have you know that my wife is a prized beauty. I stole her from Cary Grant. That ought to teach Grant to keep his stable door locked. <laughs> I heard that remark. It's Mrs. Niles. Who I said it for you to hear. Take it easy. Little puss. Now, 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 now. I'll have you know, Costello, that I could be a star in pictures. Why, why, only last week a director told me that there was character, dignity, strength, and intelligence in my face. You must have been reading between the lines. <laughs> Costello, that, that's very unkind. Mrs. Niles has no lines in her face. Oh, no. If she had a string on each ear, she'd look like a Venetian blind. <laughs> oh. Oh. Costello, there's only one reason why I don't break you in two. Well, what is it? I couldn't stand two of you. <laughs> You really told him that time, dear. Oh, you're a card. <laughs> oh, no, Kenneth, you're a card. <laughs> oh, no, no, you're a card. Oh, why, it's this, Kenneth, you are a card. Well, there's a couple old cards. They, they ought to get lost in the shuffle. All right. <laughs> you kids are laughing before the jokes are out. <laughs> now, look, uh, quit arguing, Costello. Mrs. Niles may be just the leading lady we were looking for. Oh, thank you, Miss Rabbit. Oh, but you better give me a contact at once because... Two leading men are fighting over me right now. Who are they? Frankenstein and Dracula? <laughs> oh, 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 you, you bloated blubberhead. Why, I could get hit by a truck and look better than you do. Not if I was driving a truck. <laughs> oh, I've never been so insulted since, since last week. Come, Kenneth. Oh, Costello, you, you're always insulting people. Fighting with them. Well, why don't you be like me with dignity? I have poison personality. Yes, everybody says you've got a poison personality. Yeah, uh, <laughs> just a minute. Ever let you do mayor. Just a minute. As the mayor of Sherman Oaks, I have to mingle with the people. For instance, yesterday I, I christened a ship. Well, what's so terrific about that? What do you mean? I'm supposed to christen an old oil tanker today, right after this program. 
<laughs> Answer that. Hello, Costello speaking. Mr. Costello, this is the shipyard. Are you coming down here to christen the tanker today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be there. Well, you better bring another lo- uh, along another bottle of champagne. <laughs> Uh, Costello, we've got to get busy and find a new leading lady for our picture. Come in. Pardon me, I'm looking for two gentlemen. Well, uh, we're Abbott and Costello. All right, I'll keep on looking. Uh, uh, hey, just a minute, kid. Who might you be? I might be Hattie Lamar, but if I'm not... Uh, we might be Abbott and Costello. But and we are. We are. Certainly. I understand you two boys is making our picture. How did you find that out? Bad news travels fast. <laughs> Well, so, boys, how about the pot? I'm a leading lazy type. Yeah, but his name is so ugly, he looks like Mrs. Niles with a hangover. <laughs> Take it easy, boy. With me, looks is no problem. In my last picture, I was beautiful. They photographed me to a cheese plot. They should have photographed the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Just a minute, miss. I'd like to know who sent you over here. I'll have you to understand I'm a playful friend from Goldwyn. He thinks I'm a very fine actress. Goldwyn. 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 Hey, Abbott. What? If she's a friend of Goldwyn, we'll have to give her a chance. You're right. You're right, Costello. Go ahead, miss. Uh, do something. Well, I'll do for you a little poem I'm using only for this. It's a short end. <laughs> Goes like this. My mother sent me to the store to buy a fire pickle. The man gave me a pickle and I handed him a penny. What kind of poem is that? <laughs> it's all right. When the guy gives you a pickle, you hand him a nickel. Nickel, pickle. Pickle, nickel. That's right. I should play a nickel for a pickle just to make it rhyme. Uh, look here, miss. Are you sure Sam Goldwyn sent you over here? What Sam Goldwyn? Max Goldwyn by the American Society. Get him out of here! Get out! Get out. Get out. Max Goldwyn. <laughs> Hey, listen, Abbott. Now, what kind of dames are we going to be getting in our picture? Well, now, don't get excited, Costello. I- I've already talked to Dorothy Lamore, and she's uh, going to come over and discuss the part of our leading lady. Dorothy Lamore? Yes. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I can hardly wait till she gets here. You know, I feel like kissing her again. Again? You ever kiss Dorothy Lamore? No, but once before, I felt like it. <laughs> boy, am I going to have fun being Dorothy Lamore's leading man. Well, for your information, Costello, I am going to be Miss Lamore's leading man. But you have a part, too. You're going to be the stunt man. Stunt man? Not me, Abbott. I had an uncle who was a stunt man. He used to take his right hand and stick it in a lion's mouth. Really? Mm-hmm. What's your uncle's name? Now we call him Lefty. Lefty. <laughs> Costello. <laughs> Costello, you love the part of a stunt man. Uh, you'll be all through the picture with Dorothy Lamore. Now, in the opening scene, Dorothy is kidnapped by a desert chief. He rides away with her on his horse. Look! Look! There he goes! Which way? What's the difference which way? I gotta know where to look! Quiet! <laughs> look, look! There all he right, goes! Right, there, quiet. there! Quiet! Listen, we have no time to lose. We must chase after the kidnapping. Okay. Jump on your horse. I jump on my horse. As you land my on horse. the saddle, I your grip is sure. Yeah. Your face is sturdy. My face is sturdy. Your clutch is strong. How's my transmission? Okay, ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> your horse leaps forward. Yeah. And you give him a, a bit. I give him a bit? Yeah. I, I give him a what? You give the horse a bit in his mouth. What kind of talk is that? Give him a bit in the mouth. You mean I give him a bite in the mouth? No, 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 Costello. You dig in the spurs. Your horse leaps forward. He soars through space. Soar where? Soars on the horse. You can say that again. <laughs> Finally, we head off the kidnapper. And we must throw myself in front of the kidnapper's horse. That's where you come in. What do you mean? Well, you're the stunt man. Now, mm-hmm. to rescue Dorothy Lamore, you take my place. And stop the runaway horse with your manly chest. I ain't stopping my horse with my beautiful body. No. Now listen, Abbott. How much money do I get in this picture for risking my life? What do you care about the money? It's the experience you need. Oh, so it's the experience I need. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yes, yes, yes. Now, the horse is running madly toward you. He's frothing at the mouth. You jump in front of him and grab him by the mane. By the mane what? No, the mane, the mane, the horse's neck. Horse's neck? Yeah. Better neck. What do I care if they like the romance? Oh, quiet. A horse? A, a horse? Minute, just a minute. They gotta go with other horses. Wait a minute, let me finish this. What do you think we get little horses? Please? Never mind that. I think it's got a... All right, all right, all right. There's a fierce struggle. And the horse drags you for a hundred yards, trying to throw you. Your head is bouncing over the ruts in the road. Boy, am I in a groove. <laughs> but you hang on. I hang on. You don't mind the ruts. No, I've been in a rut for years. Uh, at last, the horse stumbles over you, throws you to the ground with a terrific force, and comes to a stop. 
Where am I? Under the horse. That's the horse on me. <laughs> and then with a sigh... Oh, wait a second. How much money they... did you say I was going to get for this? I said forget the money. It's the experience you need. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's the experience that I need. Right, now let me continue. And then with a sigh of gratitude, Dorothy Lamore slips off the horse into her hero's arms. She into my arms? What? Woo! Wait a minute. What do you mean, your arms? I'm the hero. And I bend down and I kiss Miss Lamore. What's the big ad? My dear rabbit, I mean, I saved her. Why can't I kiss her? But Costello, you're not being paid to kiss Dorothy Lamore. What do I care about money? It's the experience, Get out of here! I'll be one of your personal fans. Yes, and I... Now have... that I've met you, bud, I'll be one of your picture fans. If you do, don't stop getting it, Cutter. I'm going to get pneumonia. <laughs> I was one of your fans. You're one of my fans. Why don't the two of you go with Polly Rand? Or... All right, all right. Never mind. No remark. Oh. But who in the world is this overstuffed grubworm? Grubworm? <laughs> now, listen here, Dorothy. I became a star before you were born. Really? Really? And I didn't have to dress up in a torn shower curtain to do it either. <laughs> now, now, Costello. That's no... <laughs> that's no way to talk about Dorothy Lamore's sarong. Why, that sarong has earned a lot of money for Dorothy. Yeah? I can see it runs into a nice figure. Yeah? <laughs> Quiet, Costello. Uh, Dorothy, I invited you over here because I'd like you to be the leading lady in our next picture. Well, I have a picture I'm making now with Bing Hope and Bob Crosby. Bing Hope and Bob Crosby? <laughs> Read it right, kid. What kind of talk is that? Sounds like Abbott spit in the mouth. Oh. <laughs> well, you know who I mean, Hope and Crosby. Oh, those guys. Why, they're just a couple of golfers, ain't they? <laughs> Don't be a caddy. <laughs> Bob and Bing are very good friends of mine. Matter of fact, I call them Gabby and Flabby. Hey. <laughs> uh, you know, that sounds like us. I I'm Gabby. And I'm Flap Flap. <laughs> well, so I'm low man again. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, Costello. Listen, Dorothy, what's the name of the picture you're making with Hope and Cross? Well, it's another road film. It's called Road to Utopia. The road to what, Hopia? Utopia. It's a place where nobody works. The moon is always shining, and the people just sit out under the stars and make love. That's Utopia. That ain't Utopia. That's Griffith Park. <laughs> hey, listen, Dottie. <laughs> uh, Dottie, I I'm sure you'd like our picture. Well, I think so, too. You know, I'm going to play the part of a jitterbug in a post office. That's silly. What would a jitterbug be doing in a post office? I'm standing at the stamp window getting in some hot licks. <laughs> Ha-ha! <laughs> Some joke, eh, Dottie? When it comes to jokes, we got a hundred percent morons of program. Yeah, and you're the hundred percent moron. You see, Abbott, I told you I was a moron, and you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> moron's a high-class jerk. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Pay no attention to him, Dottie. In this picture, uh, you and I are going to do a love scene. My name is Abe, and your name is Anna. I see. You're Abe, and I'm Anna. Yes. We have a little fight, and we split up. What a picture. A banana split. <laughs> now, 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 stop that, Costello. Get out the script of our picture and let's run through the desert scene with Miss Lamore. Okay, Abbott, here it is. Now, in this scene, Dottie, you're an Arabian princess, Ben Ali. And I'm your cousin, Bowling Ali. <laughs> you're Bowling Ali? Yes. She's going to wear a sarong. I want to be her pinboy. <laughs> Boy, will I get stuck. You know, Costello, I think Wonderful pin boy. Do? Yes, you've got just the head for it. <laughs> well, let's get back to the scene now. Come on. Uh, what part do I play, Costello? You play the part of an Arabian civilian. An Arabian civilian? <laughs> Wait a minute. 
An Arabian civilian. Uh, what's my name? Hassan Ben Drafted. Hassan? <laughs> what did you say? Hassan Ben Drafted? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh. All right. So much for the parts. Now, let's try it out. Ken, you set the scene. Ready? Music. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present a soggy, sagging saga of the Sahara, starring Dorothy Lamour and Abbott and Costello. The story is entitled, Two Dirty Bedouins, or It's Time to Change the Sheep. <laughs> As the scene opens, we see two footsore and weary Arabs trudging across the desert. They are approaching the small town of Blemish on the Chin. Curtain? We must hurry, Costello. It's a lovely... That's your line. Sure. <laughs> Oh, boy, oh, boy, Abbott. I can't take another step. This sand is terrible. Yeah, and it was my line, too. Yes. We must hurry, Costello. The lovely Princess Benelli is being held captive by that wicked sultan, Atfei Elibay. <laughs> <laughs> that Atfei Elibay has certainly gone the pot. Quiet. We're approaching the sultan's tent. Help! Help! Save me! Save me! Costello, that's the voice of the princess. It's coming from this tent here. Hello, in there! Two of us up here? Hello! <laughs> Hello in there! It's me, Princess, me, your friend. Your friend, the Rift. Hello, Rift. What do you hear from Rat? <laughs> oh, things are pretty rough with the Rift. Rift, rough, rough, rip. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Quiet, please, please. Wake up, everyone. It's dark in this pen, Princess. I can hardly see you. There she is, Abbott. Boy, she sure has gotten skinny. You're looking at the tent pole, stupid. <laughs> I'm the one over here with the turban on my head. My. Ooh. My, but that's a pretty turban. Signed by Diana. How do you like that? The new Diana turban. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Princess. We will help you escape from the wicked sultan. Yes, I've been in this tent so long, I'm getting flap happy. Quiet. Someone's coming. Listen. Hey, who was that? That's Humphrey Bogart. He's walking back from Casablanca. <laughs> oh, please, you must get me out of here. The Sultan is going to sell me as a slave. Don't worry, Princess. We will help you get out, escape. But it's... <laughs> but it's 500 miles across the desert. Do you have a car? Nope. Do you have a jeep? Nope. Well, do you have horses? Nope, but I got a wagon. But... <laughs> Who's going to pull the wagon? My little Pekingese dog. How can a little Pekingese dog pull the three of us in a big wagon? We've got whips. <laughs> and before we go, Dorothy, I will give you the kiss that made me famous. The kiss of fire. Like this. Oh, my kid, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I... Don't pay me this week. <laughs> What I call fire. Better throw on some more coal. <laughs> hey, it's the soap. At Bay Ellie Bay. Oh, I catch you red handed trying to steal the beautiful princess. Aha, 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 aha. Oh, a double feature. <laughs> hey, Abbott, when I give you the ignal say, I'll stay till I play. All right, you got it? All right, come on, come on. I've got the soap. Arms. Look, Phoenix. She may be dying, Abbott. Oh, Princess, 